Okay, welcome to part four of this video. If you're watching this part, after having watched the first three parts, I uh, commend you for your endurance. Uh, in this part, we will completely start over. We'll resolve the problem uh, using vectors rather than using uh, lots of uh, geometry and uh, trigonometry relationships and so on. So this will have the advantage of actually making things somewhat easier but we'll have the disadvantage of um, making it less clear how things work out, why they work out the way they do, and also if you're scared of vectors, this will be frightening. So the idea behind what we want to do is we want to find the net moment around the point A. We'll use the point A as our origin, actually, and set that equal to zero. And then we want to find the sum of the force vectors and set that equal to zero. And this will actually give us then the equations we need to find the things we don't know, which are the magnitude of FB, that is the magnitude of the force applied by the hydraulic cylinder, and the magnitude and direction of the reaction force FA. So let's start working with uh, this equation here, with the moment equation. And to do that, we need to find relative position vectors, and we need to find um, force vectors, and then we can find moments using cross products. In order to make that work, the first thing we need to do is define a coordinate system. And for this part of the problem, I will use just the standard x is horizontal and y is vertical coordinate system. So this is the x-coordinate, and this is the y-coordinate. And then we'll um, go ahead and express everything in terms of vectors, and then do the computations in terms of vectors, and it will all just work out beautifully. So the first thing we need to do, if we're going to work with the uh, moment equation, is we need to get position vectors so that we can take the cross product of position and force vectors in order to find moments. So the position vectors, uh, let's start with the load out here. We'll call this point L. And the position vector of point L with uh, this point being the origin is going to be 35 feet times the cosine of 45 degrees times i hat plus 35 feet times the sine of 45 degrees j hat, which when we work out, we get uh, 24.7 feet i hat Minus or plus 24.7 feet j hat. Okay, so that gives us then this relative position vector out to here. Okay, we also need the relative position vector. Uh, to this point here, where the this, it's the center of mass of the boom. So we'll call that point W, and we get that the position vector RW is going to be 16 feet cosine 45 degrees times I hat plus 16 feet sine 45 degrees j hat, which when you work out, you get that this is 11.3 feet i hat plus 11.3 feet j hat. Okay, so this position vector is going to look like this. Okay, now we need to get the position vector to 
this point B. Okay, and um, we can do that as follows. R B the x component is going to be uh, the distance, the x distance from here to here, plus the x distance from here to here. So we have RB is going to be 10 cosine 45 degrees, and that's feet, plus 1.5 cosine 45 degrees, that's also feet. And all of this times i hat. Okay, the y component is going to be 10 feet sine 45 degrees minus 1.5 feet sine. So I'm basically going uh, from here up to this point and then back down to this point. So 45 degrees and that's j hat and so when you work that out you get that this is 8.13 feet i hat plus 6.01 feet j hat okay and again this is the position vector rb Okay, so we've got position vectors. Uh, the next thing we need to get is force vectors. And so um, hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. Some of them should be quite easy. Uh, we have that the force due to the load will be minus 500 pounds j hat because it's basically a vector going straight down. Um, let's see, find another ugly color here. We have the force due to weight will be minus 2,000 pounds j hat. Okay, so those were pretty easy because we have forces going straight down. This F sub B, um, the force uh, created by the hydraulic cylinder, is going to be a little more complicated. And so it's going to take a little bit more work, but not a lot. Uh, let's see, we'll put, it, we'll put it right over here. So we have F sub B, the vector, is equal to the magnitude F sub B times the unit vector in the direction of the force. Okay, so you can see that this unit or that this force has an angle of 22 degrees with the vertical. And so I can say then that lambda hat B, the amount that I go over in the x direction, will be. Um, sine of 22 degrees i hat and then I go up and I go up by an amount cosine 22 degrees j hat which when you work out the numbers this is equal to 0 0.375 uh, i hat plus 0.927 j hat. Okay, so we have our relative position vectors and we have our forces. We've got them all set up as vectors. I guess to be complete, we should probably write out that the force at A, the reaction force at A, is going to be its x component plus its y component. Okay, so now we're ready to actually compute moments and um, 
start applying these uh, uh, the net moment zero and the sum of the forces is zero. Um, unfortunately, I'm sort of running out of time, so I think we'll stop at this point and then in part five, which again, if you are brave enough to continue watching, we'll uh, do the computations for the vectors and solve for F sub B and the components of A. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in part five.